Hello guys, Keep Right Time TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into this video, let's see if we can get 50 likes, and if you haven't already, make sure to drop us up. Now, it's the international break. There's no blues for two weeks, so we're going to be diving into the transfer news. Yes, I know it's not even the start of April yet, but the, the season um, ends in a, in a couple of weeks' time. So, you know, there's already rumours circulating about um, players' players' futures and that, so... We're going to get on to this. Um, Stoke City among the championship clubs to have shown an interest in Birmingham City learning this season. So, of course, this is about Dion Sanderson. Now, Dion Sanderson was on loan um, with us this season, but he had that injury. I can't remember who it was against, but um, I believe he's going to be out for the rest of the season now. Um, and Stoke City are just one of multiple championship teams to have shown an interest in Birmingham City Loney and Wolverhampton Wanderers man Dion Sanderson this season, according to this afternoon's report from Birmingham Live. The same outlet has added that Wolves wouldn't hold out for an excessive fee for the defender, who is still contracted to the Midlands outfit beyond this summer. His contract, by the way, expires at Wolves in the summer of 2025. So he's got two years left on his current deal at Wolves. Um, it has been reported also that Sanderson's parent club are willing to help him seal a move to his preferred destination, though it, remain, it remains to be seen if the club um, if the club he wants to join in the summer will be able to cough up the amount needed to lure him away from on, on, new, um, on a new permanently. Um, Scottish Premiership outfit Rangers took an interest in him during the January transfer window, but they have, but with there being no re recall clause in his loan deal that gave Birmingham the power to get a long, a longer term deal over the line for him without opposition. Um, Birmingham's interest in securing a permanent agreement for him was reported by Football Insider way back in November, though they have been un un uh, unable to tie him down for the long term at this stage with the player set to head back to Wolves at the end of this term. And we could face a battle for his signature this summer, with Stoke City just one of multiple second-tier sides believed to have shown an interest in him this term. It is um, reported back in the winter that it was reported back in the winter that Wolves were holding out for three million for him, but it remains to be seen whether that price tag has changed since. Now, Dion Sanderson, my thoughts on Dion Sanderson. Look, I've met him. I met him after the Swansea game last season. Lovely guy. Had a selfie with him as well. Well, not I had a picture of him, um, should I say? And um, you know, look, I would, I would definitely buy Dion Sanderson. Apparently, we're looking at like two or three million pounds for him. Can we afford that? I mean, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the summer. Really, I mean, if we can get um, players that are on high wages out of the football club, then maybe we can actually get some funds together to make this. Um, Transfer happened on a permanent basis. Of course, we got Chong on a permanent basis, but that was due to the Paul Richardson and Maxi Lopez, um, you know, saga. Them putting money into the football club when there wasn't even the owners. So look, his injury record as well as another thing. But I'm looking at this. I'm looking at the defence that we've got currently. Yes, Long has um, kept. Well, when he's been at the back for us, we've kept a couple of clean sheets. Roberts. Not good enough, to be fair. I know he had a good performance against QPR. A lot of people are saying, but not good enough. QPR, one win out of fifteen. Trusty, we're not gonna. I don't. I don't see. I don't see a world where Austin Trusty um, rejoins the Blues, whether it be on a permanent basis or a loan, another loan deal. The only problem I look, if it was between getting Sanderson and Bielik on a permanent transfer, I don't know. I'll probably go with Bielik, to be fair, because yeah, I mean Ivan Sunic leaving in the summer. You know, I think we need Ryan Woods left um, last summer. We need to fill that void. Um, if Bielik goes, then I think, yeah, it's going to just be an absolute catastrophe unless we can bring someone else in. Um, Centre-back options, I think Long, he's not going to be here too long. Um, is he going to be here beyond this season? That's another thing to put into the equation. Like I said, Trustee's not going to be here unless something happens between now and... Um, the end of the transfer window in um, September, but yeah, my only only worry is because he had an injury last season, didn't he? Halfway through the season, this season the same things happened. His injury record is absolutely atrocious. 
but I would still take him because I think he's a brilliant centre back. And yes, we've been keeping clean sheets, a couple of clean sheets with him out the side. But you know, you've, I think personally, I think you've you've got to sign Dion Sanderson on a permanent basis in the summer. Um, obviously, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the summer, in the summer because we've got the likes of Christian Bielik, who's going to go back to Derby. We've got the likes of Hannibal, who's going back to Manchester United. People say, you know, we won't get him, but you know. I don't think Manchester United will sell him, even though I don't think they're going to be playing him next season. Who knows what's going to happen. But yeah, anyways, we keep on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you take Dion Sanderson for like a 2 million, 3 million um, price price tag uh, this summer? Let's see if we can hit 50 likes. Like I said, thanks for watching as always, guys. Keep on.